welcome to Raw Reviews. My name is Jens Olson. And I'm Joseph Engel. Today we watch The Hunger Games starring Jennifer Lawrence. You want to see what I got you today? It's a Mockingjay pen. As long as you have it, nothing bad will happen to you. I promise. Welcome and happy Hunger Games. I just love that. Ladies first. I volunteer as tribute. Favorite part of the movie by far had nothing to do with the movie, though. In the end, when the District 2 um, female contestant is fighting Katniss and the District 11 guy comes in and literally picks her up and bashes her against the cornucopia until she's dead, there was three grandmas sitting next to me that clapped and went woohoo in the theater. And I was just like, wow, what does this speak to our society that they just saw on film a 12 year old or a 16 year old, whatever, get her skull bashed in to the point where she died? It's got that whole overtones of the government can do whatever it wants so long as it's providing the people with a show. And it, really hits that particular aspect of humanity right on the head. You know, it's sort of like Heart of Darkness or Apocalypse Now, you know, there's this fascination that we have with death and the grotesque that makes us human. And so, I think that, that this movie, and especially the popularity of this movie, says something about us as people. You're stronger than they are. There's 24 of us, Gail. Only one comes out. No! No! Take care of them, Gail. Whatever you do, don't let them start. Hit the 17th, the girl on fire! What did you say to your sister when you volunteered at the reaping? I told her that I would try to win for her. And try you will. I just keep wishing that I could think of a way to show them that they don't own me. If I'm gonna die, I wanna still be me. I just can't afford to think like that. So Joseph, what did you think about this film? You know, having read the book, and some fans of the book will probably kill me for this, but I think that it translated better into a movie than it did as literature. A lot of the darkness really came out, and especially being part of an audience, watching the way that they reacted almost gleefully to the darkness of this story really spoke to me, and it said a lot about just how really messed up people are. And that said, it was both good and bad. I think there was some humor in this movie that just came off as being a little bit too tongue-in-cheek and being just a little bit too irreverent. And for that reason, I'm giving this movie a nine. All right, I understand that. For me, that humor, I actually appreciated that because it brought me out and... That way, at the end of this movie, when I left, I was not complete and utterly depressed that all these people were just killing each other. Um, other than that, I really didn't have any problems, really enjoyed it, got into the movie. Um, only thing that really popped me out was uh, the hairpiece that Hamage was wearing. Shouldn't have been in the movie. They should have just had him bald, um, like he is in every other movie I've ever seen that actor in. Um, I'm going to give this movie like a 9.5, um, just because I have a problem giving movies 10s, and there was a couple little things that I thought could have been better and drawn me into the movie a bit more. And this has been Raw Reviews. My name is Jens Olsen. And I'm Joseph Ingram. Say, what did you think about the part where the children got killed? I thought <laughs> that was great! Ha 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 